The only thing better to get into play with one M1A is to get to play with another one set up different. So, that one set up is kind of Mark 21-ish. This one is more the uh, Scout Squad setup. Either way, it's going to be fun. Muzzle blasts off this thing, even being the guy behind the rifle. Still got a pretty good feel for it. So, let's talk about these. So we'll go ahead and start with the elephant in the room, which is, Nick, why are you shooting long range guns on your handgun range? Well, I was gonna try to get up to dead zero and do some long range shooting. It just hasn't worked out. It's the first time I've been able to get out, shoot and film in like three weeks. So doing what I can here. So today isn't any kind of review or anything like that. It's just shooting something that I haven't really got to play a whole lot with. Thanks to the generosity of not one, but two of my friends, uh, my buddy, Sean, loaned me this one, which I said, so like I said, he's got it set up as kind of a Mark 21 longer range thing. He has a four to, uh, what is that? Four to 14 power scope on here. He sent me the parts and stuff that he's used to build this. That's gonna be down in the description. The same with the other over here that I'll show you in just a second. So we're gonna play around um, a little bit on paper and just kind of see what these are about. Um, obviously I'm not doing any justice to the rifles shooting them at the ranges that I can here. They're a lot of fun, so that's mostly what we'll be doing today, is having some fun. Let me show you the other one. Now this rifle belongs to my buddy Mark. Um, now this one is also an M1A, but this is the Scout Squad version. A little bit shorter barrel. You can see he has the optic, the scope mounted further out uh, with that long eye relief setup common on Scout rifles, which is, in my opinion, one of Jeff Cooper's greatest contributions to the gun world. You guys may argue on that, but that's my opinion on it anyway. So this is a little bit lighter, a little bit more wieldy and shorter, but two different uh, philosophies of use. In the description, there'll also be a build list, if you will, for this rifle. So I'll get the info on the parts that uh, my buddy used to put this one together. So I think what we'll do now is we're gonna go ahead and put a paper target out and just see what I can do from the table, which again, it's really no test of the rifle, it's more test to me. But we're having fun, dang it, and that's the most stable place I have to shoot from. So, let's do it. Alright, so I have a paper target set up down there. It's just an 8 inch shoot and see, splatter target, whatever. Let's see how this goes. We're going to put 10 rounds on the paper using this one, uh, the way it's set up. And then we'll change the targets out and do 10 more rounds utilizing the Scout Squad version. Uh, the ammo we're using today is 7.62x51 NATO. 147 grain, so that should be good. Um, yeah, beastly round. I love this round. Anyway, let's get started. All right, let's do some shooting here.
Let's go take a look at the target. Again, it feels like shooting fish in a barrel being this close, but man, steady rifle. Well, I'd say that's uh, not too shabby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four of them touching there. So, again, with a little bit more stability, a better shooter behind it. Yeah. But that's what you can expect at like 35 yards, so that's not too, too bad, I guess. It's fun to shoot though, which is the point of today's video. All right, now we'll give it a try with the scout squad set up. This should be fun. Oh, let's take a peek here. All right, so this thing is no joke. Absolutely concussive. And I'm the guy standing behind the rifle, so I can only imagine if somebody were online with me, this thing uh, definitely chucks the gas. Uh, and, and just a, a shock wave, I don't know how else to put it. But a lot of power here. Let's go take a look at that target. I can already tell you from here, that one opened up a little bit more. Um, I haven't shot a whole lot of scout style optics before, so could be that, could be any number of things, but I'll just go ahead and put it on me. Let's go take a look at it though. Oh yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least they're all on paper. Hey, <laughs> this should be at this range. But yeah, not bad. Uh, a more skilled rifleman could absolutely close that group up more. These are both really cool rifles. Uh, if I had to pick one, I don't know. They're, if Obviously, I honestly don't know. So if I get an M1A, I kind of want to do the Mark 21 setup, the longer range, full size. But I also kind of like the idea of the Scout rifle and getting a little bit more proficient with something that short, compact, but still with the capabilities that the 7.62x51 NATO provides. They're cool rifles, they're steeped in history, so I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently in that I'm actually going to put more information down in the description than I do on camera. Um, I've kind of expended uh, the ammo that I'm comfortable expending in this setting with these rifles. Maybe at a later date, I'll borrow them again, I'll take them out and do some long range shooting and kind of put them to their paces at a more appropriate distance. But this was definitely fun. Um, absolutely woke up the neighborhood a little bit. There's birds and stuff moving around. Like, like you wouldn't believe right now. So, uh, very cool. Uh, I just wanna say thank you to my buddies, uh, Sean and Mark, that let me borrow these rifles. You guys rock. Uh, I got something else of Mark's that I'm doing a video on here soon. It's super cool to have friends that not only will loan you stuff, but trust you, just take it out and do whatever with. So, that's super cool. Uh, thank you guys, I appreciate it. All right, fellas, stay safe, keep shooting, and I'll see you next time.